Hello friends, I'm Ronald with Coastline Robotics and today I'm going to show you how to solder the NACE32. So let's get started. We're going to use a 3x6 right angle pin header for the motor output. We're also going to use a 2x5 pin header for the RC input. We're going to use a 2x1 pin header for the telemetry output. We're also going to use a 2x3 pin header for the battery voltage alarm and the buzzer alarm. We're going to start applying some solder and plug. Make sure you cover every single point in the board. And then just place the right angle 3x6 pin header. You're gonna start soldering the top right corner pin so you're gonna have a base point and then you can make adjustments once it's soldered. Then what you're gonna do is solder the opposite corner and then the rest of the pins. I have a little bit of a bridge here, but you, know, you just can clean it. Now we're gonna solder the RC input pins. I'm just gonna put a little bit more of soldering flux. And then using the 2x5 pin headers, I'm gonna place carefully. So we're gonna solder one of the lateral pins. And what you have to do is flip the board and solder the opposite corner. Apply a little bit more flux. And then just apply the pin on the pin and there we go. Now continue soldering the rest of the pin. Make sure you're not putting too much heat on each pin because they can melt down really quick. Flipping the board again. And now we're gonna complete the process on the other side. Now we're gonna install the bus alarm and battery voltage pin header. Here I'm gonna apply some soldering flux and then I'm gonna do it while I grab the pin headers. So once I solder the first corner, I just check that it's leveled and then just continue soldering the rest of the pins. Now we're going to install the telemetry and Bluetooth pin header. We're going to use the 2x1 pin header. So here we have the board uh, complete with all the inputs and outputs necessary. I hope that you have uh, enjoyed this tutorial, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.